Hi. Listen, I'm not holding a gun to your head for you to watch this. This isn't a reading. This isn't a live stream. This is not a free energy healing. This is nothing but me just talking about how I am so disappointed in everyone. I am disappointed in literally everyone. I've never been so alone in my entire life. I don't have a man. I don't have friends. I don't have even a freaking goldfish. I don't have anything. I don't have anyone. I am the epitome of free. But why does it feel so not freeing? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because when you're this high vibrational and empathic and sensitive and psychic, you feel all the world's pain. And it feels like no matter how much you try to get free, You'll never be free if there are people still slaves. Slaves to the mind, slaves to a paradigm, slaves to the old world, slaves to their neighbor, slaves to their boss working 70, 80 hours a week, slave to their girlfriend having to say yes all the time and not really wanting to, slaves. Just, you're not really ever free, you know? You're not free. You're not free, you wanna convince yourself you're free you pride yourself on it, say things like, I'm free, I'm free, how cool, how cool, yeah? Um, no. No, there really is no freedom if you have to see your brothers and sisters anywhere on the planet, anyone suffering, anyone in pain. Literally, if there's one soul in pain, we're not free. And that's exactly what spirit guides have been trying to tell the world. That's angelic forces. They, hello? We're all, we're all one consciousness. A lot of you are like, why? Why would they want to help us though? Why would these, if they are real Jenna and the, the, the beings that you talk to and whatever, if they're real, why would they want to help us? Because they are 100% in alignment with the truth that we are all one consciousness. If we're suffering, they're suffering. Why wouldn't they want to help ease suffering in the same way that you do as a human? As a human who has anger issues and you know, we're gluttons for punishment and anger plus wanting pain. We put ourselves in really, really shit situations, but we still even try to help people there. Like even at that low rock bottom place, we're still kind of decent people. We still try to help people, right? We do the best that we can with what tools we have. So why wouldn't a divine force, somebody, some entity, consciousness outside of this mainframe, outside of whatever the fuck this is, whatever the simulation matrix is, why would a divine, holy being not want to help humanity free itself, liberate itself from the shackles of, well, a hive mind? You know, why? If there weren't these good forces, don't you think evil would have taken over the planet by now? I mean, we wouldn't even have flowers. We wouldn't even, there would, we wouldn't have anything. We'd already be up in fucking smoke by now, don't you think? There's something out there, something opposing darkness. I personally am willing to risk everything in my life to find that thing, whatever it is, Santa Claus, a consciousness, a ghost, a rock that I have to worship in Phoenix, Arizona. I have no idea. But all I know is there is something opposing darkness on this planet. Otherwise, we'd have completely already obliterated ourselves into, I don't know, uh, ashes by now. I'm willing to give everything to this cause, everything. To a point where, yeah, I've been living in my own prison cell, even in hermit mode, like studying, studying the occult, esotericism, witchcraft, divination, whatever you guys call it, whatever, it doesn't matter. The paranormal. All, all types of magic, not just like evil things have happened to me. Good things have happened to me as well. And so I'm disappointed. I am so disappointed in every friend that ever claimed to be my friend. 
on my live streams in the last couple months, I have been trying so hard to wake people up. I've been, you know, and this is where me, Jenna, like I have to really, really, really ask myself why, like why did I think that was my responsibility? Who put it on me to be God of the world? You know, like, like what, like what, what? Save your complex, hello. But that's not today's message. I've already handled that on my own. Today's message is how disappointed I am that brothers and sisters in Christ who know some shit about some shit, okay? You know some things about some things and you knew psychic warfare was taking place and not one of you spoke up against it. Not one of you contacted me, said, hey, I'm praying for you. Hey, I'm kind of worried about your mental health. Hey, I'm worried about this. I wish that you wouldn't act like that or I would, you know, I, I know they're, they're beating you down. I'm, I'm really, some people did give donations and I really appreciate that. Some, some over the years did pray, but I'm talking about the last couple months. Nobody went out of their way for me. If you did and I just didn't get the message, please, please forgive me for not getting the message. But uh, I didn't. I didn't get the message. I didn't get the memo. For those of you who did, donate and help me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you get your blessings a thousand times over right now. As you are going to reap what you've sown, the whole world is about to reap what they've sown. It's glorious. It's a beautiful day. It is the day of the Lord. So please get your karma, okay? Um, all of you, get your karma. But yeah, I'm so disappointed. Every time I'd be on my live streams trying to help people, coach people, like give, give twin flame readings, free readings to people who didn't really want to risk anything to be in union. I'm, I'm, I'm like, wow, was that really, I spent so long. <laughs> I spent so much energy and the only one who really broke me free from my prison recently was literally my divine masculine who came into my life, who showed up on a live stream one day. And after a while of talking, like one of his, the things that he said to me that like really snapped me the fuck alive was him saying like, I don't like this side of you. I don't like it. Knowing full well that I would attack him, knowing full on that my ego, my, my, my anger that I was absorbing through all of these streams, inflating this sense of, of um, self came at him a thousand miles a minute. Knowing full well, knowing full well that he'd be attacked, he still said, listen, I, I don't like this side of you. I know you're different than this and this is not what I, I don't like this. Not one soul, not one soul. not one soul before him cared about me truly enough to say something is wrong here this is not Jenna doesn't anybody care doesn't anybody care doesn't anybody see she's in pain doesn't anybody care no no one cares So I am beyond disappointed. I'm appalled even. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't care enough, but I did care enough. That's the thing. I did care enough. I cared every single day when I tried to help twin flames come into union. Over the years, I've given free readings on my channel, like to, literally to people, just free readings. I have given knowledge. I've shared my wealth of knowledge that I have about the universe, what I learned. And I kind of sometimes wish I hadn't even tried to teach it. So many people got greedy with that information, with that knowledge, with the secret occult wisdom of literally everywhere that's been preached and teached and, and how many spiritual narcissists came out of that. People who are doing bad shit with it, I mean, Knowledge is good. I think that really everyone should have free knowledge. But man, I really wish I would have been a lot more careful in who I gave this information to.
and how long I sat on my live streams day in and day out, letting people energetically violate me every day, every day, for years, for years. Nothing given back. No kind comments, no compliments. So if, if you did, thank you. But in the last couple months, I have felt like there were so many trolls and mean people, cruel people, like, man, you're already having shit karma, aren't you? Like, I don't even have to wish karma on you. Your life is already miserable. You wouldn't attack people who have done nothing to you, literally nothing, but exist and breathe air. You wouldn't hurt them as badly as you do if you weren't in pain. Your life is already shit. I don't have to sit here as a witch wishing anything on anybody. Just go get your karma. Good or bad, I don't give a fuck. Go get judged based on your own soul. What you think you deserve, go get it. Judgment day, please and thank you. I'm here for that. I'm here for the entire world to get judged. I'm here, I'm here for that. A lot of people are here for that justice all across the planet you think you're gonna violate innocent ones you think you're gonna keep hurting god's people god's elect god's chosen the ones who are literally here to help wake you up to your own pain and suffering and to help give you tools out of it but then again how could you have ever believed me i was suffering how could you believe a girl who's in pain someone miserable and in pain can't really liberate minds and convince other people to stop being miserable and in pain. Can she? No, she can't. Which is why I'm so truly grateful that this man woke me up. Helped me see that, who am I helping exactly? Giving all this energy away for free, trying to teach people, wake people up to the, what, to the system? The system that I was already contributing to and fueling I'm so beyond disappointed. There's not one person from my past I want in my life ever again. Except my twin flame. Except the man bold enough to tell me this is the most unattractive I've ever seen you and I don't want to be around you anymore. He literally broke up with me because of my anger issues that I was f feeling from being on stream so long. Taking everybody's darkness. Absorbing it. And then not able to transmute it fast enough. For free. Wanting to be everybody's healer. Wanting to take your pain away from you. I'd sit there as a free buffet, an energy source, a battery pack every day. Every day. People would stop by my stream, dump their disgusting energy onto me and other empaths in there. Well, actually, there were probably very few empaths left because God loved them too much to make them suffer through that as well. So the good ones all but left. And then there was just me taking it out every day. I mean, you can only buy so much Epsom salt in bulk in your spiritual baths to cleanse yourself three to four times a week that it starts to become daunting so disappointed I'm disappointed in this world I'm disappointed in the people in it I'm disappointed in the hive mind I want it to just disappear I want the old world to disappear greed harm harming others war anger just I mean corrupt bye bye let the old world go goodbye don't care I didn't belong to it anyway I never subscribed to the old world as many of you are black sheep of the family you never bent the knee you never subscribed to the old world paradigm ever injustice corruption greed no, no. These innocent ones, these, the chosen ones, the elect, those who work for God. 
you suffered because you didn't subscribe to that old world paradigm. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. Literally goodbye. I'll never think of my exes again. I'll never think of anyone in my family ever again. Bye. This new world belongs to me and people like me who are willing to risk everything. Gave their life, literally gave their life as a, literally as a sacrifice for God to be a vessel, to be a chosen vessel. These beings of light, these gorgeous beings of light who are in human form. They're beautiful. They're divine. These are divine chosen people. These are people that are sent as messengers in a great time of change on the planet. And how many of you kicked them while they were down? How many of you watched my brothers and sisters in Christ in poverty, homeless, not able to even afford a toothbrush? And how many of you stopped for a moment and gave to them? How many of you said, can I have a hug? Just a hug. Or just a kind compliment. How many? I'm, I'm really genuinely curious because I could tell you right now, 2,300 people on my channel, on this channel alone, and I'm pretty sure there are not 2,300 of you that ever gave a fuck. So, bye. Goodbye. It's the real and the raw anymore. Goodbye. End of days kind of shit. Because when people who are awakened to Christ consciousness, they realize they are the Christ. They realize that Christ consciousness is all that exists. And they focus their attention and their consciousness on something else. What do you think happens to the things that we're getting its attention? Like a fog. It just clears. It just, it just, it just vanishes. There's nothing left. Bye. You know, in the, the movie Ever After with Drew Barrymore that Cinderella story. I remember one of the lines at the end was when she was with the king, the prince, going to the palace, and she told her stepmother, hmm, you will think of me every day for the rest of your life, but I will never think of you again after today. That is the truth. I will never think of any of you again. You were selfish, greedy, diabolical. Warned you for a really long time. It wasn't just me warning you. <laughs> Your spirit team was warning you, right? Other messengers that would come in trying to guide you, correct you, correct your course. Get right with Jesus, guys. 11 fucking years I've been a prophet. 11 years since I met the Lord, literally. Out of, out of body experience 11 years ago where I legit met Jesus, 100%, as God is my witness. And I've been talking about that event pretty much my entire journey. No one wanted to believe. Even those that did originally believe got it twisted in the matrix and started thinking like, oh, she's the devil, she's, the, she's following the false light. Okay, bye, bye following the false light my ass she's a devil worshiper she's gonna lead you right to hell don't you fucking get it don't you fucking get it you're in hell already hmm. these false prophets out here try and convince people the people like me who are into divination they understand the shadow. They don't have to live only in the light. They all understand too that they are both. They have to be both to sustain themselves in the 3D world. These false prophets out here. Bye. Your shit coming down. I don't know if you've, if you've even paid attention. The old world you built all your shit on. Bye. Crumbling. Bye. False empire. Bye. Built on the backs of God's people. Bye. Your congregation, nil, zilch. They're leaving in droves. Bye. I'm so disappointed. I've never been so done 
with an entire collective. I've, I'm, I'm done. I'm fed up. And you know what? I'm just one girl. Just imagine what the spirit world is feeling right now. Like if I'm able to channel this and I give a fuck about my livelihood, my money, my career, any, any psychic event that takes place with people hating me for this. I mean, I, I'm one girl. I'm a human being and I'm, I'm this upset. Just imagine. Just imagine the powers that be that sent me and other people to try to wake up the world. Oh, man. Just imagine how pissed off that source is. Disappointed. You're going to hurt God's people continually day in, day out with your selfish greediness. Got all the money in the world but won't even spare 20 bucks to help somebody get a toothbrush. Go drive your Maserati. Drink your Starbucks. Right? Enjoy the life of luxury while you got it. Because those who love their life lose it. And those who lose their life gain it. It's biblical. Have you lost your life? I have. I died. Been dead a minute, actually. Been dead a really long time. Only just recently uh, became awakened, actually. I woke up from a little nap. Somebody came in to wake my ass up. He's the only one that could. He's the only one that did. He's the only one that tried. And he's the only one that got my fucking wrath for doing so. Most gorgeous being on the planet. And I hurt that man so bad. Because of the unruly energy I was in. I was absorbing so much toxicity from other people for free. That I got caught up in it. I got caught up. I forgot. Like, hello, Jenna. You are in the Matrix. You're in the Matrix. Somebody needed to come by and wake my ass up. And I'm so glad he did. So, I'm beyond disappointed. And that the, the shitty thing about it for everybody else is that I'm not the only one disappointed. There are a lot of beings that you don't know about. <laughs> Invisible to the naked eye. That are pissed, too. So, one of my exes, my ex-husband, had a dream with him about a month ago, maybe, a month or two. <laughs> yeah, his karma. Um, pretty sure that's what a lot of logically-minded men are about to see um, during these end times. Um, everything in his life is haunted. Everything's going up in smoke. Everything, it's, he's haunted. He's literally haunted by the other side. They showed me his karma. There were three, three different aspects of his life. And I didn't have to experience the pain. And I'm not going to go into full detail. But a lot of men are about to be haunted. You're about to be haunted by your past. You're about to be haunted. By shit that you thought was not real. And then the irony is the ones like me that were out there telling you how to protect yourself how to draw boundaries, how to believe in it. Telling you every day when I was going through demonic possession and I had literally on live streams, like I, I was absorbing a lot of people's demons. I know how to perform exorcisms, so I'm cool, I'm fine, I'm gonna be totally all right soon. But the point is, when I'm sitting there trying to tell and convince people like, hello, it's not even mine, that shit's yours, this is how you handle it. You need to walk away from this person. You need to try energetic boundaries. You need to try a, um, a protection spell. You need to do a salt bath. You need to whatever. You didn't want to hear it. You didn't even believe me. But yet you sat there mocking me and ridiculing me, persecuting me and other messengers just like me. For a really long time. Get your karma. I'm not the one issuing judgment on you. You're going to be issuing judgment on you. What do you think? As you can't get sleep at three in the morning because some, some demon is, is possessing you or some shit. I mean, what do you think you did that has made divine beings walk the fuck away from you to not even give you any spiritual protection at all? They don't, want it, they don't, they don't even want to acknowledge you. You didn't acknowledge them. These messengers who were homeless, really they were rich. They had so much. They had so much built up in heaven. But they didn't know in the 3D that they did. 
So these people would panhandle. They'd, they'd, um, they'd you know, try to get money any way they could. How many of you looked down on them? It could have been you in an instant. 2019 and 2020 should have shown you that. Could have been you in an instant. And how many of you gave a shit? Hmm? These people that were down and out had nothing. I channeled a message the other day that one of my one of my viewers couldn't even afford a new toothbrush. Couldn't even afford a toothbrush, man. Why? Why? world full of iPhone iPhone 75s and, and Starbucks at every corner and, and, and Maserati. Why? Why are good people in pain? And why do you not give a shit? And then worst of all, why do you contribute more to it? Mm -hmm. I get the whole, like, not allevi alleviating their pain thing, you know, stay selfish, stay selfish and self-absorbed, stay that way, but to actually involve yourself in their downfall, sending all your toxic gunk to them for them to transmute it. I mean, I've been violated in the astral plane so many times by random strangers sexually assaulting me, leaving their debris in my auric field for me to process for years. And not one person could help me. The only one that could was God. Thank God I know God. Thank God, because you hear the sirens outside. Thank God I know God. The day of the Lord isn't terrible for me. I mean, it's in the Bible, right? No one should wish for the day of the Lord. Like, bro, I love the Lord. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to sit here in my high top. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be good. It's the rest of the world uh, I used to worry about. I don't, I don't fucking worry about you anymore. Friends and family. I left my entire family in 2021. I haven't spoken to a soul since 2021 from my family. I wasn't welcome in my hometown. Jesus wasn't welcome in his hometown. I try to emulate Christ. I try to be as Christ-like as possible. The last couple months, it's been kind of a shit show. Last couple months, I kind of lost myself. And I really needed this beautiful, angelic man to walk into my life and be like, you know what? Actually, no. Like, no thanks. Is this what it is? Is this Twin Flame Union? Is this like, is it? I don't want you. Wait, what? What do you mean? He was the only person willing and daring enough to say, like, yeah, I don't really want this then. If that's what I'm getting, no. No. I'd rather, I'm just going to leave and go find someone else. Yeah. I think you should. Because in an energy like that, there is nothing special about me. I'm off of live streams probably indefinitely. Probably forever. It's such a sign of the matrix. It's such a it's such a conduit for the beast system itself. So quite honestly, it, it is indicative of a portal being open to I don't know how many people in, in there at a given time. Up to thirty people, thirty timelines, thirty different energies, thirty different mindset. Nah. Done. Done. Figure out your own shit. Go heal your own self. Go save your own self. I don't need to save you. Just because I saw some truth 11 years ago. Just because I've been seeing truth every day since. <laughs> Why did I feel I owed anybody anything? Oh, that's right. Because I wanted to take pain away. I wanted to show everybody, hello, go within sit and meditate for five minutes, right? The spirit world's real, guys. 
There's this chick online embarrassing herself daily, day in, day out, talking about unicorn farts. There's this girl willing to risk everything to be that crazy, crazy village lady because she believes in the afterlife. She believes in the spirit world. She believes in life after death this much. She believes in shit this much. But she's willing to look that weird out loud in public, risking her entire livelihood, her entire life, her reputation, her everything, her love life, dating life, everything, right? I believed in it that much. Good. I'm glad I believed because I'm about to be rewarded for it. In the same equivalent that I've been harassed by the darkness, like that level of magic, that belief that I, I believed because I saw. Blessed are those who believe and have not seen, but I believe because I have seen. So now that same level of like, whoa, what's this is going to take place, but it's going to be for the light. It's going to be for the good. It's going to be, whoa, what's this? How can I, wow, how did I get just, just get blessed like that? How did that good energy force just like heal me and bless me and wow. So the same level of magic, but yet this time it's going to feel a hell of a lot different. Because I say so. Because I know I deserve that. No one deserved the pain that I endured for years and vlogged my entire journey. No one deserved to be sexually harassed by a demon, an incubus in her bed. No one deserved E.T., invisible beings, sexually assaulting her, taking away all of her vital life force energy. No one deserved that. I didn't deserve that. I, I certainly did not deserve that. And because I know that this shit is real, I was willing to stake my entire life. Everything that I, I believe, I believe because I saw, and I was willing to talk about it. I was willing to help other women going through the same exact thing. Those women, they didn't deserve it either. And soon they will be going through to the same place I'm going. Whichever, whichever of you got it right, you know? You saw it, you started to see shit and you're like, this isn't, this is weird, right? What? I thought that we were in like this just like 3D linear thing. It's all logical and what, what? All of a sudden you started waking up to magic and you didn't dismiss it. You owned it. You owned your own magic. Even though you face persecution for it, which is, yeah? Okay, please let God protect you now. Please let the divine world help you into theirs. Please. Please let us take you where you want to go. You want out of here. So do I. Please let them take you. Please, please let them guide you to a frequency that does not suck anymore. Let them help go coach you and guide you to be led in a way of yeah, I mean, it's not fun to have to leave every single person who doesn't believe in you. Yeah, it's not fun to have to leave habits and addictions. Yeah, it's not fun to have to leave your nine to five that's cushy and steady. But at the end of the day, they're, they're promising something. And what do you have to lose? What do I have to lose? Nothing. I already lost my life. What else is there? Many of you already saw me lose my reputation. What else is there? I already lost my twin flame. What else is there? I already lost my family. What else is there? I already lost my prime. <laughs> what else is there? I already lost my ego even. Anything that would have helped me stay at a nine to five in the, in the rat race, in the, in the physical 3D matrix. I, I don't even have that left to help make me normal and relatable. So what do I have left? I have nothing to lose. Beam me the fuck up, Scotty. I have nothing to lose anymore. That's the beauty of it. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Everyone else, you know it's a sad situation when a girl like me who gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave, and gave for a decade is done giving 
oh man, that should really actually worry you because it's not just me. It's a lot of divine feminines just like me. They know some shit. They've seen it. They warned you about it. They kept preaching at you. Hello, get it right, guys. Get it right. Go to the Lord, which is you. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to sit down and shut up and go to yourself for five minutes. You, you didn't want to see who you were. You, you got it twisted, honey. You stayed in the matrix a little too long. Stay there. I'm done. And a lot of divine women like me, done. We're behind a paywall now. We're behind a very um, protected bubble. No one is getting to us if they've not gone to God, period. We're the energy source. We're the ones that know how to make it out of this hellhole. And now we're so divinely protected and guided and safe that anyone who tries to fuck with us at all, it's like, it's instant boomerang effect. Like it just, man, it goes back to you like a thousand times. Like you might not want to do it anymore. Actually, that's the whole point, right? The whole point is that one day you stop wanting to hurt us. Innocent people who didn't do shit to you. You got it lodged up here in your noggin because you didn't get out of the 16 fucking hundreds and that mindset called and wants its bullshit back, you didn't want to believe that people can just be innocent and still love the occult divination. They wanna make their life better and there's nothing they're doing wrong in practicing witchcraft, whatever. Like, like you, didn't, you didn't wanna get out of the 1600s, okay, bye. It's the age of Aquarius now. Totally different. Totally different. Not the 1600s, Ben. That was the age of Pisces. Totally different, Ben. Done. Done. A lot of people like me. Done. We're behind a paywall now. Anyone who wants to be in our energy as a walking Tylenol, yeah? You will be paying for that somehow. You will be energetically contributing in some way. Period. Whether that's emotionally, energetically, physically, monetarily, whatever. These divine ones are behind a paywall now, honey. You're not about to be able to wreck their world anymore. I mean, not for free anyway. You could try it. You could try it, but they'll see through you like... Like, oh my God, within seconds. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll see it. They see it. They have seen it. They have seen it. It's just that they had this, this belief that, that they needed to heal you for free. Inspire you when they have nothing, right? Like the, the homeless viewer who had no toothbrush out there still every day trying to help people have a better day. You know, and there was this one reader that I used to watch. I, I think I might actually try looking her up again. I haven't watched her in a while. She had, I think, two or three kids. And she was, like, living in an RV or something or, like, a tent. I don't even know. It was something like a camper. And, and she was just out there every single day trying to help people believe in a better reality, a better world, like... doing the best she could every day. Trying to show people like, this is how beautiful you are. And all her readings, you know, all her readings. She would have those little charms, you know. I gotta, I gotta look her up. She'd have those little charms. And, and she'd be like, this is what I think of you. And I, oh, that's cute. And this is, okay, so it looks like that, that type of energy is coming in for you. And she'd do these like charms, you know. I remember as I was subscribed to her, I saw her go from like doing it for free to finally people paying for her readings and finally people like even donating to her and stuff because they were just happy that she was trying her best. So it really made me happy to see her progression and I, I hope she's doing so well now, but it's like, it's people like that, you know, that have really been doing so much for the collective in the way that they know how as spiritual beings, as spiritualists, you know? 
if she were a millionaire, she'd have probably been helping in a different way. She'd probably been starting a nonprofit or something, but that's what she knew. That's all she had. That's what God afforded her. That's what she had was her intuition and a deck of cards. Shame on all of you. Shame on every last one of you. Whoever demonized what these women felt they had to do with their open intuition when God was leading them to divination. Shame on all of you who in your religious programming wanted to demonize, villainize these women. Shame on you. Like, come on, bro. Get out of the 1600s already. Pull your head out of your ass. Yeah? Figure it the fuck out. You're a slave to your own religious programming. Figure it the fuck out. Shame on you. It's over. It's done. It's done. Any of you who have contributed to the way that these beautiful, angelic earth angels, literal earth angels, did their work, and you got in the way of it, you don't answer to me. You're answering to a higher power right now on Judgment Day. Best believe that shit. And as I've been a prophet for 11 years, I'll continue to be a prophet for the next however long God wants me on this fucking trash heap. So I'm telling you right now, shame on you. Forever trying to keep these children of God from entering the kingdom of heaven. Right? They're God's children. And in the Bible it says, woe to you. Who, who keep children from, from their father in heaven. Yeah, yeah, woe to you. Yeah, well, it's about time. Karma's about to hit the planet, and it, like, woe to you. <laughs> Sucks to be you. You try to get in the way of someone doing their divine mission. You try to get in the way of someone doing what they knew deep down they had to do. Shame on you. Yeah, it's about over. It's about over. You think you're going to be able to fuck with the chosen ones anymore. These, these divine angelic beings like girl or guy or religion or cult or coven or witch, witches or whatever. Whoever has come up against these divine ones. They have nothing to lose anymore. You've already taken their home. You took their fucking toothbrush from them. Didn't even have that. Hmm? They didn't want to do something that they felt was wrong and you fired them from their job? Okay, so they didn't have a job. They lost their family. They don't even go to holidays anymore because they don't even believe in that shit and they can't stand to be around people who hate them. You have literally no idea how underestimated you made them. You, you've underestimated every single elect chosen being on the planet. You underestimated them. They have been buried under rubble. In the darkness. With absolutely nothing but two pennies to rub together. And like you thought that you'd be able to what? Get away with judging them? Do you know how sad that is? How quickly that shit can be ripped from you? You go have a seat. You try homelessness for a day. I dare you. You try to be impoverished like that. Like, you, you really, these strong ass warriors, these divine beings at rock bottom, man. They had nothing. They had no one. Eviction. Kick from their, their homes. The black sheep. From day one, they've not been welcome in their family, in their, in their own, own town. Their own hometown kicked them out, just like Jesus' hometown didn't like him. For the same reason. For the same fucking reason. Out here trying to promote a different truth to the world. Like, hey, do you not know ye are gods? Hey, do you not realize the kingdom of heaven is already within you? Hello? Hello? You can switch your mind right there and be happier now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I was in great company. Getting persecuted like I was, getting violated by even dark, lower forces that my exes would fucking send me because they were spiritual. These men didn't know what the fuck they were doing. You have no idea what's about to come for you now. You're the one lacking that, that protection, that spiritual protection now. Like, the, the, the dark energies that you sent me, you dibbled and dabbled in some shit, honey. 
You dibbled and dabbled, and you sent it to the wrong bitch. I'm telling you that right now. It's over. It's not only over, but it's like the same way that my false twin flame kept me from ever having spiritual protection with Archangel Michael because I was so depressed and I was so inundated with, with dark energies. Like these lower forces, gremlin goblin looking motherfuckers. I'm telling you right now, have fun. Not my problem. If a girl who has risked everything, even embarrassed herself online for four and a half years, well, I mean, four and a half years on YouTube, before that it was other platforms, willing to risk everything everything for the spirit world everything to be a psychic medium everything to talk about aliens and ufos and crazy shit risk that much and she's now telling you that you're about to experience what she just experienced i'd be i'd be shitting bricks honestly you better you better you don't even have to trust me you'll just start seeing it i mean you don't have you don't have to believe it you're just gonna see it okay Anyway, yeah, to every false twin flame out there, every man trying to get these divine women to sit there and energetically transmute your bullshit when you were not going to promise them a damn thing. You didn't give them a damn thing, bro. That's the, that's the fucking shocker of the century. You don't even realize you're in a false twin dynamic until you meet your real twin flame. And then you see real love versus that bullshit. And you're like, wait a minute, what the actual fuck? My whole life. Transmuting your darkness because you don't want to set boundaries and discipline yourself. So the false twin flame dynamic, every single false twin on the planet, I'm telling you right now. You with your fake spirituality. Spiritual in name only. Yeah, you're not really actually spiritual. You've absorbed a lot of the, the knowledge that these women have really given you, but you didn't apply it through heart-based teaching. You didn't apply it to help people. You applied it to your own self so you could go and siphon energy from these divine women. The real ones. The real divine feminines who can transmute your bullshit for free. As soon as you sense her getting away, oh, oh, well, I should probably show up in a dream, right? And promise something. At least hold me over for another month. Bye. Literally good fucking bye. Good fucking riddance. Hate to be you. Man, these divine feminines, though, they don't make them like this anymore. They are really, truly, intensely powerful. These ladies are powerful very strong and how they know that they are protected by the divine like bro it's an unstoppable force anymore plus they have the intention they have set intentions now with the age of aquarius to help wake awaken people in the aquarian age it's very aquarius like to help humanity so so it makes fucking sense they now work with these divine beings and there is literally no stopping them i mean my god i'd be terrified if i were you i really would false twin bye get wrecked have a good one go to the reality you created for yourself and stay there fucking stay there i have a phone call to take you go ahead to that reality i'm gonna go to mine have a good one